Make easy reads against any opponent's defense with this great play. Coming up next. Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, guys, um, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So I've got a Patreon member uh, that I requests a lot of Eagles playbook breakdowns, and I stumbled onto this play. This is a play that I've actually put out um, a couple years ago. Um, it's a very easy concept. The concepts still work into in Madden 20. Um, and it's you can get really easy reads, great completions. You can get a lot of great plays where you can pick up some good chunk yards and sometimes one play touchdowns, depending on your personnel. So it is um, out of the Eagles gun, Y off trips, curls. Uh, and the, what makes this play special is this post route by the slot receiver. Now, um, I, basically this exact same play out of the Y trips is also in the Chiefs. But you can find this concept in other types of playbooks. So uh, the West Coast has a similar concept. Um, you also can find this out of the spread. Um, it looks like you can find it out of the, um, let's go ahead and see. I know that, uh, let's see, a run and shoot, you could probably do a similar concept like this. Uh, Pistol's got it. And then um, I think that uh, the Buccaneers have this too. So the Buccaneers have a, sh a shotgun version of it. So you can go, you want to go ahead and take a look at it. The, the, the key to this is making like the Dolphins here in the single back Y trips. It's making sure that that, um, the slot or the, the slot receiver is doing a post route and that's what is going to make this play special. So what I put together is obviously a full scheme. Um, if you want to see a full scheme out of this uh, gun, why off trips, you can go to my Patreon. Um, uh, simply sign up for that and you'll be able to, to access it. Uh, so the curls is the play we're going to pick and I'll show you the breakdown. So we're going to go ahead and run this against random map blitzes and go from there. All right, so uh, basically with this setup, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, basically max protect by hitting your left bumper, flipping up, max protecting. We're going to streak up our tight end, and then we're going to drag up our wide receiver on the back end side. Now, the way this play is set up on off coverage, you don't have press coverage. Uh, if it's man coverage, what your, your read is going to be is going to be this little hitch route. He should get um, that separation they're constantly looking for. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and just do this. This, is, this essentially is just going to be taking candy out from a, from a baby um, with this particular hit, little hitch route, especially if you've got a big receiver like Oshon Jeffries. He's going to get position. That's one of the best defensive backs in the game, too. So um, that's going to be the area that we're going to go for. We also got the dragger on the back and side. Um, obviously, you can throw into um, a spot like that, uh, so you want to be very conscious of it. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to go ahead and hit this, but Aguilar's will get separation too if we get the time. Uh, and he'll actually go ahead and give you an opportunity for a big play too. If you can get the time off, uh, you can do it. But most people know how to set up blitzes where the pressure's coming fast. So I would just go with the high percentage pass, which is going to be this little hitch route right here. Uh, that's going to be something you want to use against someone that does a lot of man blitzing. Now, against cover two, Aguilar's route will affect the mid read. So you're going to, if you run into someone that runs a lot of cover two, um, basically, unless he makes adjustments on the cover two, you're going to be able to get yourself an opportunity where it's going to be a one play touchdown. So let me go ahead and show this to you and what happens with this particular play. This play destroys cover two unless your person makes adjustments. While labbing out this play, this route right here, uh, even if, if he doesn't come off clean, what happens is he holds the mid read. The mid read is waiting for this post route and is going to follow. So uh, if you got a guy that runs a lot of cover two against you, he's using a cover two shell, you can get a one play touchdown opportunity with him um, with, uh, with just the way this play is set up. So this destroys cover two right up the middle. And if he obviously, if he pulls uh, a defender out of that area, then obviously this deep post is going to be open. Um, and then you also have the underneath route too. Uh, this will essentially get shut down, so you won't have that play whatsoever. Against a guy that runs a lot of cover three, um, Aguilar's route is going to be where you're going to get some action. So watch the route. 
watch how the separation comes in there. You probably want to try to throw it early. Um, I'm finding, and it might just be the quarterback I'm using while I'm labbing this, is that the quarterback sometimes will overthrow it um, if you don't get rid of the ball a little bit quick. Uh, and you do have to wait for that route to um, develop. It takes a little bit longer to develop, but that's why you have the levels concept, and that's why this plays well-designed levels, is that the, the levels um, between the underneath um, and between that deep post, there is a huge separation. He can't, no, there, no user can take that away. Uh, so that's why this play is pretty cool. Uh, basically, on the back and side, um, you know, I wouldn't look, I wouldn't look to um, the, I wouldn't look to the uh, any of the other routes. They're just clear out routes. They're going to get picked up by cover three. So it is, it's going to be your your reads are going to be basically two reads against cover three. You're going to have uh, the underneath. You're going to have this this route of the back and side. So even I'm getting block sheds right now. You can see the guys getting separation in the background. So let's just go ahead and do this one more time. Block sheds happen when you're in practice mode. Um, so we're just going to go check it down right there. So uh, very separated levels concept. And it's going to give you an opportunity for some huge plays. Let's take a look at cover four. Now I'm going to use cover four drop um, primarily because it's a more popular defense that gets used online with cover four. But you can see um, this route is going to get separation too. So it's going to come uh, right back up again. Um, so you're going to be able to go ahead and hit that. The underneath route obviously is going to be another area. So he's going to have to use or he's going to have to choose his, to pick his poison where he wants to defend that. So those those two routes are essentially going to get opened up. Uh, that backside hitch is really, it's more for, you know, if he's using palms, yeah, that's probably going to be it. So let's see if we can hold this right there. So right there, just levels, very easy concept to go and use. You can't spam this play. Uh, and here's the reason why you can't spam it. It's very easy to lock this up. So basically a cover six is going to be something that will be able to go and shut this down um, or at least cause some fits. So first and foremost you've got uh, basically this flat defender that is going to take away that quick read. Um, so uh, if you take a look at the progressions on the other side, um, what's going to happen is that uh, you're going to have basically this, this play is going to be locked up. Now. So the crossing route is you know, that you're going to have a defender down here. All you have to use her is this route right here. And because with a, like a cover six situation, this route is actually covered by two guys. These guys are falling, so you've got that man covered. So this is, the, you know, that's just like a quick uh, offense that you can jump, or quick defense you can jump into to stop this essentially is going to be cover six because you're going to take pretty much lock everything up, force them to check everything down. So what you can do is you can use her this tight end until he switches off and then switch off to the low route, and that's going to force him to throw into basically um, a, a, a yellow zone and also into this spot. So this will, that, I'll cover six, essentially will shut this down. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. If you do like these type of tips, make sure, make sure you smash that like button. And I'll be rolling out more often some defensive tips to take your game to the next level. So thank you for your support, and until next time.